Unfortunately, even though this place is just filled with trailers, none of these are trailers for me. Hi. This week, FreightWaves reported that Stoughton Trailers, one of the top five manufacturers in North America, has paused new trailer orders as their capacity is filled for the year. 2020 saw record-breaking freight volume, supply chain constraints, and shuttered factories due to the pandemic. At the same time, new strategies for brokers, shippers, and large carriers have them increasing trailer pools, which altogether resulted in a surge in new trailer orders in the fourth quarter of 2020. Fast forward to today, and we have a nationwide trailer shortage. I have been searching the West Coast from Canada to Mexico for a new trailer for my own fleet. Roll with me from Seattle to Los Angeles as I go trailer hunting, onboard a new driver in Central California and finish the week with the delivery of wine bottles to a beautiful winery. I am at the airport heading out to uh, Southern California. Gonna go pick up hopefully a new trailer and uh, meet a new driver and give him a truck. So we're expanding down to, to California this week. It's gonna be a super exciting one. So I scheduled a load that positioned a truck in Central California. While the truck was in transit, I boarded a plane to Southern California to see if I could get a trailer. I was really hoping that the road test for my new driver as well as an opportunity to get him used to his new truck could be a trip down to pick up his new trailer. No customers waiting on us, no appointment times, no pressure. None of these are trailers for me. Um, all of these are used and they're older than 10 years old and I just can't have a trailer older than 10 years old. There's not gonna be very many shippers that are gonna accept a trailer that old. And I tried to uh, grab one today because there's a guy that hasn't picked up his trailer yet but the wait list for a new trailer right now, at least at this dealership, is all the way out uh, to September. So I was hoping to grab one, but unfortunately, uh, the customer that they sold that one to isn't giving it up. He's gonna come pick it up in a couple of months um, and he doesn't wanna have to wait till September. So um, I'm gonna go to another trailer dealership here and just see if they have anything. Um, my hopes are not high though. I was hoping the trailer dealer would let me take his trailer and he could pick up another one in six months or so when the weather cleared up. Unfortunately for me, he wasn't willing to part with what was rightly his and I wasn't able to talk him out of it. I didn't have a ton of luck with trailers. I stopped by quite a few other dealerships and nobody has any right now. I did have a little bit of luck with uh, with McKinney. They had a few used ones that they think might be coming in in the next couple of days uh, or weeks. So they might be able to give me one of those. Um, we'll see. Sounds like some of them were a little bit older and I'm gonna want some newer trailers. Up in Central California, everything was working out much better. The load we brought inbound was tracking right on time and we were able to welcome our new driver and introduce him to the team, as well as to his new truck. We had a great afternoon of getting to know each other, a good night of sleep in the hotel, and then great orientation breakfasts before the road test. Another carrier that I connected with had some great well-lit space and a manned guard shack, so we were really lucky to have a little place in the Golden State to call home. With our new driver Larry all set up, Trent and I jumped in the rental car to head back up north. It was a long drive with a lot of coffee stops along the way. A little excitement on the highways with a couple of truckers teaching a quick lesson in patience to a car in a hurry and, and even some snow as we went through the Shasta Trinity Forest. This week was pretty rough when it comes to top line revenue since I prioritized a great new hire experience over full trailers. So I wanted to try to get one more load in before the week was over. We picked up a load of wine bottles that were headed to a winery up in the valley. I'd never delivered here before, but I think I could die happy just delivering to places like this forever. The most beautiful loading docks I'd ever seen next to the river under bright blue skies. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at being a fleet owner, be sure to roll with us on this channel for more videos and as always, keep the shiny side up.